Welcome everyone to Forever Sport. Um, sorry for joining, uh, coming going live a bit later on. Um, just a couple of technical issues, but we're on and uh, seems like it's been an exciting game. Three minutes in, right? We've got Cheetahs versus Pumas. Yet another game that um, promises to be a fantastic, a fantastic game. I look forward to it. Just maybe for those who have missed uh, the Cheetahs side, right? We've got Clayton Blomich as a fullback, Duncan Sala, 14 jersey, Leslie Porter in the 13 jersey, Sia Masuku in the 12 jersey, Kwan Yaspa, 11, 10, we've got Brandon Thompson, 9, we've got Ruan Pinar, who will be captain in the side, 8, we've got Aiden Davis, 7, we've got Jock Burkhita, 6, we've got Jean Ray Rudolph, the experienced Jean Ray Rudolph there, 5, we've got Jan Drosti, 4, Rena Barnard, Three, Hankas van Wiek. Two, Manus van der Merva. And one, Aluluto Chakweni. 16, we've got Louis van der Weistazen. 17, Scott Ferreira. 18, Conrad van Buren. 19, Victor Skekete. 20, Junior Pocomela. 21, Michali Morsi. 22, Zinedine Boysen. And 23, the elusive Malcolm Yar. Quickly, just taking a look at the Puma side, who've been quite impressive uh, this this campaign. Got in the 15 jumper, Devin Williams, the trust of Devin Williams, Tapiwa Mafura in 14, Erich Kronje in 13, Matt Moore 12 jersey, 11, Jade Stengling, 10, Edward Fushia, 9, Genta Smart, 8, Billy Engelbrecht, 7, Pumzi Lemakondwana, 6, Francois Glenn Haynes, 5, Peter Van Buren, 4, Brandon Faltain, 3, IG Prince Lou, 12, Simon Vestrat, 11, Gewalt Maritz. The, on the bench, we've got 16, HP Van Squar, 17, Ruan Kremer, 18, Edwin um, Swartz, 19, Wanda Timaza, 20, Daniel Martin, 21, Chris Wool September, 22, Wayne van der Bank, 23, Sebastian D. Clark. So, that was just us quickly going through the lineups for those who didn't see the lineups. But yeah, it seems like it's been an exciting game so far. Right, two teams that I think always play a good brand of rugby in South African rugby, very attacking minded, want to keep the ball in hand. So it promises to be a good one. We've seen how the Pumas break down the one flank, very good carry there from the Pumas winger, creating good forward ball, but unfortunately dropped there by the number seven, Chapo Makondwana. But Cheetah's quickly looking to attack. Brandon Thompson with the boot. But yeah, once again, good afternoon to everyone who's watching. Right, welcome. My name is Ulukan Chongweni, and I will be keeping you company for this Cheetahs versus Puma clash. It promises to be an exciting one. I'm definitely looking forward to it. Please do in the comment section, perhaps just drop down who you think will win this one. Right, I think there are a couple of matchups here that I'm looking, definitely looking forward to. Right, we'll start with the Puma side, you know, Vili Engelbrecht again. Powerhouse, Makon run a very good ball carrier. Right, and we saw the Pumas, you know, started off very well, very composed last week against the Greek was a very measured game, right? But all money looked like they're in control for majority, but we saw the Greek was sort of come in, but they did well. The Pumas did well to sort of um, hold on there for the victory. But yeah, it's, it's going to be interesting to see. Devin Williams had a very good game last week. It's going to be interesting to see if he's able to sort of continue with that momentum. And he's been quite solid. But yeah, we see the Cheetahs are in attack. Very uh, unfortunately, Brandon Williams just pushing that one a bit too far. All right, just while we're on Brandon Thompson, an interesting character in South African rugby, played for the junior SA sides, represented SA schools uh, in 2013 and was sort of touted, you know, for big honours, but left for Europe. But it's good to see him back in our shores. It's always nice to see our youngsters playing their trade in our domestic scene. All right, Cheetahs again. They're clear to Blomich is on the ball. Up and under. Yeah, it's been a tussle for territory, but I think the one disappointing thing is the game has been somewhat a bit scrappy, but I think sort of the culture of these two teams and the attitude of these two teams, they tend to be more on the, you know, attacking side, trying to push the envelope a bit. 
but yeah sometimes it doesn't work out sometimes it does but let's see what they have in store for us it does promise to be a very exciting game so on the on the comment section please do drop down your score predictions who do you think will walk away with the victory at today Aruan Pinar, very good take there linking wall unfortunately once again an unforced area error there sorry and the pumas are once again back in the attack Siano Pumas just inside the Cheetahs fly off. Matt Moore. Yeah, Matt Moore was also quite impressive last week. Um, a young fellow who's just recently made his debut for the Pumas, right? So signed with the, with Province. It was at Munster out of high school, went to Province. Things didn't quite work out, but now he's at the Pumas, and it's fantastic to see that he's getting some game time. But fantastic steal there on the ground by the Cheetahs. Uh, Hooker. Fantastic work there on the ground. Amonis winning the cheaters their uh, penalty. But yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm excited to see what Matt Moore has to offer. Some may say that his best position is 13 rather than 12 because he's a quite a big, big physical rugby player, but equally he's got good feet, you know, as a monster in high school. But yeah. Please do keep me company there in the chat box. Let's get the comments going. While you are unfortunately there again, the cheaters with the scrappy line out. Right, Puma's doing well to contest and win that ball. But unfortunately, Fashia has knocked it out into touch directly. So, you yeah, are a little reprieve there for the cheaters. Probably, you know, territorial gain, a plus for them. They'll be looking to rectify the line out pretty quickly. As we see there, Fushia, good pressure on him. And yeah, it was the pressure that sort of uh, forced the error there. Got the cheaters. Good um, initial shove there in the mall. Looking to get a good go forward ball. And they've got an exciting back line. I think Usia Masuka, I'm, I'm interested to see how he, he goes. Normally at 10, I think sort of out of high school, uh, made his name in the 10 jumper. Right, it's going to be interesting to see how it fares out in the 12 jumper. It does seem to have put on quite a bit of muscle mass. So perhaps looking to make the, uh, the transition permanent to the 12 jersey. But equally a very skillful player that I'm excited to see. I got Fushia again there. Once again, the cheaters nailed. Right, dangerous tackle. Fushia looking to push the Pumas deep into cheaters' ground. See that David Williams, that's one person the Pumas will not want to see on the ground. As you see there again, Brandon unfortunately throwing away with pass. And Clayton Plomich is just unfortunately a bit high there. Yeah, to those who are here, let's get it going. Let's get some score predictions going. Who do you think will win? This one got the Pumas there with a good line out, solid line out. Right, and the Pumas, they they forward pack has been quite immense for them. It's it's where their strength lies. Let's see if they will be able to utilize it. Very good forward ball there, making some yardage. Our fantastic carry, our fantastic, fantastic carry there from the Pumas, Francois. Clay names, but unfortunately brought down there. Very good work there from the cheaters, close to the line. You are forcing the penalty, but yeah, credit must go to the cheaters. Uh, to Brandon there, if I'm not mistaken, yes, Brandon with the last ditch tackle there, forcing, you know, at least momentarily stopping the pressure. Let's see what the Pumas will opt for. Yeah, will they look to attack, or will they take the points? Yeah, rightfully so. Jandre Rudolph, their professional foul into the Sunburn. Yeah, Pumas look for all money that they'll score there. So, yeah, Cheetahs down to 14 men. I'm sure the Pumas will be looking to knock this into the corner or not. Uh, they've opted for the points. Yeah, perhaps I would have, you know, why not? But scoreboard pressure, I suppose. But it wouldn't have been a bad idea to maybe knock it in the corner, try go for the push over try there because. Definitely seems like they've got a very good mall going, but suppose the captain has opted to rather go for the points 
and ensure that they're on the board. So the Pumas strike first. The Pumas strike first there with the penalty from Fushia. Yeah, we see the clear infringement there, slowing the ball on the ground. Right, cynical foul. Definitely sunburned for that for the experienced Rod Rudolph, who is playing against you know one of these teams. He was, he was, he was at the Puma. He was at the Pumas. No, that's where he's, he got his break. But you see the Pumas sort of taking an early lead. Yeah, the score after well 12 and a half minutes, three Pumas, cheaters, zero. Be interesting to see how the cheaters respond after that, especially considering that they're playing with 14 men. So I'm sure Brandon will be instructed to sort of play more the territory game until they've got uh, Rudolph back in the park. But that equally does not suit the brand of cheaters. So it's going to be interesting to see how they go about for the next 10 or so minutes. Very good kickoff there from Clayton Plomichies. Unfortunately, again, and that's one area that, again, Jimmy Stonehouse will be pulling his head. Because last week it was the same issue where we saw that the Pumas would score points, but automatically off the kickoff, then they would make an unforced area, allowing the Crickers in. So that's one area that they need to tidy up, just focusing and ensuring that they secure the ball exit wall. And going from now, Clayton Plomich used fantastic running lines. Oh, Cohen Yaspa with the line beckoning. Oh, mate, come on. Yeah, but very good play there from the Cheetahs automatically on the ball, picking up the ball and looking to attack. Clinton Bromich is perhaps there with a somewhat wayward pass. Right, he should have done better there. But for all money, Cohen Yaspa looked to be in. And this is, um, this is another one of those players that I'm excited to watch and see how he fares out in the professional game. Right, it was fantastic for C. CET in the Varsity Cup. So it's fantastic to see that the boys are also getting an opportunity at the professional level from Cup and Shield acting as a feeder for our professional franchises. So it's fantastic to see um, Jesper in this cheetah side. And let's see how he goes. Also see how uh, we've got Michali Mossi also on the bench. Another very loose, very good um, loose forward who was massive for Nelson Mandela University. It'll be interesting to see also how he fares out once he's taken to the field. But yeah, Pumas got, um, you know, scrummed deep into their own half. I'm sure they'll be looking for route one ball, just ensuring that you get it in there, get it out, you know, play in the right areas. But yeah, they should easily have the ascendancy, but we will see. And it's fantastic to see Alulu there. Let's see how he fares out. This is a young man that... I won't lie. I've been a I've been a massive fan of him. Um, sort of playing junior rugby for the junior national teams, right? Very good around the park. I want to see how he fares out, sort of in the set piece, because his scrumming at times, you know, it tends to be a bit questionable. But very fantastic. Very very got a very good future ahead of him. Definitely one of the young youngins in the South African games front row stocks. I would just seem to never run short in that department. To those joining, um, welcome. Welcome, thanks for joining me. In the comment section, who do you think will win the uh, score predictions? But also, who, who are you look most, most excited about? Who are you most excited to see run on and do their thing? At Bloemfontein, there the cheaters. Cheaters doing very well for, yeah, initially they're, they were able to contest, but the Pumas, with the advantage of the man with the man in the sin bin, they are able to milk a penalty there. Fantastic exit for them. And for sure, we'll be looking to knock this one down the field and allow the Pumas to be on the front foot once again. Yeah, but I'm sure it's a fantastic kick there from for sure, taking the play to your halfway. But yeah, the cheaters will be kicking themselves. At one point, they look like they will be scoring. They look like they were in for all money, right? But now they find themselves in the halfway line having to defend 
this Puma's set piece. Let's see if the Pumas will be able to, you know, secure their own ball. I must say, I was pretty impressed with Simon um, for his throw last week. I think very good uh, set piece hooker, but also his ball carrying is fantastic. A very hard, hard, hard rugby player. But you can see the man is built. He's got guns for days. You know, with all his experience as well. Birds and wild for, for himself and also the Puma side. Clean ball there from the Pumas. All taken. And they look to march. I would have expected nothing else but a more. Right, they do have the man advantage at more time. But I also think they just generally also have a heavier pack. So it makes all sense to try initially hit it up with the forwards. But now it's backline players, Matt Moore. Oh, oh fantastic work there by Devin Williams. Uh, unfortunately, Chabot Dwayna calls that a forward pass. All the Pumas look like they're keen. Yeah, the back line is simply smooth, running the ball quite well. they good passing in front of the man. But unfortunately, a forward pass there from Devin Williams out on the wing. Stevie Keane, good for another good game. Out, Good outing for Fashia. Could be a useful flower dip option for one of the United Rugby Champs teams. Yeah, I couldn't agree more, Steve. Yeah, Fashia is a, solid, solid. You hardly ever, um, you know, puts a foot wrong. And I suppose in the Oh, sorry for that. Yeah, so for sure, yeah, definitely a good option as a backup. Yeah, it's a very solid, it's a very solid um, option there. Ten, right? Fantastic kicking game, right? They hardly puts a foot wrong. So yeah, I definitely think it could be an option. Yes, on the ball, fantastic tackle there from Devin Williams. Ah, uh, cheat is a bit untidy at the breakdown. A couple of too many unforced areas. Matt Moore picks the oh, two balls on the hand, bud. But the cheaters have done well to recover from that situation. Mm -hmm. Cheaters now, I'm sure, will be looking to exit the area. Okay. Running out with Siamasuko. Duncan Sal, another product of Varsity Cup. Right, having represented Marty's down in Stellenbosch. It was quite surprising to see to see Province actually let him leave. Because he was quite prom uh, quite, you know, very good player for the junior teams. But alas, he's got his opportunity at the Cheetahs. Let's see what he has to offer. Well taken there from the Pumas. Looking to to counter, yeah. Matt Moore on the ball. Good carry once again from the young man. But yeah, fantastic work there on the ground from the Cheetahs players. Yeah, both teams just seem a bit sluggish when it comes to the breakdown. You know, not committing enough players down there into the into that area of the field. And, you know, it's allowing the opposition to get in easy hands. That was an easy turnover. Hardly no one even inside from the Pumas. Right, the Cheetahs will be looking to make this count now, visiting um, deep, sort of in just five meters into the Pumas 22. I'm surprised if they get it out there, quickly get the uh, back line going, and then play phases from there on in. Yeah, I've gone for a short line out. See what they can do with this ball. Front ball set the mall. But well defended there from the Pumas. Uh, Chobotuana has just spotted that bag is coming, swimming around, coming in from the side. Interesting to see what the cheaters do. And I think this will tell us sort of what attitude they've brought into the game. Uh, experience Juan Pinar takes that ball and knocks it in for touch. Yeah, cheaters will be looking to at least uh, get away with some points here. Can't afford to walk away with nothing.
Yeah, just the first quarter down, right? Uh, you see that Puma's leading 3 0. Again, cheaters go to the trusted man in the line out, set up more. Yeah, and, uh, I mean, I must say it's pretty smart play there from the cheaters going short line out, right? To even now, uh, unfortunately, another unforced area error there on the ground. Uh, Mafura almost overran the ball, but did well together. Now, Puma's on the front foot. Let's see what they can do. Yeah, come on. Spread it. Yeah. Oh, Pumas guys fighting for the ball there. Fantastic. Oh, fantastic cover there from Clayton Plomichis. She's perhaps the Pumas should have kept that in hand. Let it go. Yeah, fantastic sliding tackle there from Clayton Plomichis. It might be I've been watching a bit too many Euros. So many Euro games there, but a fantastic covering, fantastic effort there from Clayton Plomich. He's definitely saving his team from a clear try. But yeah, with 20 minutes, you know, 20 plus minutes just down, first quarter down. Uh, just a quick analysis of the game. I think the Pumas definitely have been the stronger of the two sides. Right, game has been quite scrappy, if we're being honest. Right, too many turnovers, too many loose balls. Uh, both sides, I think, trying to, you know, to be exciting, trying to play on the front foot, but unfortunately not securing that ball. So, yeah, that's one area that they need to make sure of, just the breakdowns, just to clean that up a bit. I don't I think patience. Patience is the name. You know, you need to earn the right to, to go out wide and score, you know, ex exciting tries, which I think both teams have just been trying to force it a bit too much. So, too many guys being isolated. And as a result, uh, causing easy turnovers for the opposition. But I'm sure that's something that will sort of improve as the day, as the game goes on. But we see now Puma's fantastic territorial gain. One minute defending the line, but now they are deep in cheaters. 22. Right, boom. Yeah, I expect nothing else. Use the numbers game. Full line out. Eight against seven. Yeah, I get it marching. Yeah, Pumas, we're looking very good come, come set piece time. We see now the back line joining in as well. So what do I know what you say, mate? Play on. Our cheat is doing well there to stop that more. They look for all money like it was marching straight, marching towards the try line. Now pick and go there from the Pumas once again. Ball not secured safely. Right, trying an unnecessarily offload. You just need to tidy up that area of the field. She just looks at Matt, Matt Moore. Oh. Unfortunately, Matt Moore throwing that pass into touch. Again, very scrappy game. Too many, too many mistakes. And I think here yeah, both teams just trying to give have have a go at each other, but unfortunately it is it is resulting in unforced errors. So once again, the cheaters let off the hook there. Got Dylan Jordan Darkwood. Hello, mate, to saying that COVID has really been on the cheaters. Yeah, certainly, and I think that is why we've like they have missed quite a few games, right? And there is no substitute for game time, so I think that could be one of the reasons why we see that they're being a bit scrappy at the moment. But with the experience around like Ruan Pinar, Clayton Blomicki is in pivotal uh, positions. Hopefully, they're able to catch up pretty quickly. The cheat is able to just escape there for the time being. I think both teams just need to to relax a bit more. Just you know, take it a bit slower. Right, go through the phases, earn the rights to force that pass. You know, earn the rights to go wide before you can go wide. At the moment, everyone is just you know too many unforced areas. It's just been a bit of a scrappy game. See, Pumas, Matt Moore once again. 
carrying wall and letting go. Taking him to the line, inside ball there, Pumas. Oh, good line speed there from the Cheetahs. Uh, once again, unfortunately, an unforced error there by the Pumas number nine, Jintas Mats. Yeah, mate, one job at a time, one job at a time. Uh, both sides haven't really got into the game in the swing of things. But hopefully, with the, as the game pro, uh, progresses and goes on, you will see a much improved performance from both sides. Cheetahs once again. Our uh, Pumas don't do that, Joe Madonna. Yeah, reset scrum there. Pumas definitely, they pulled out of the contest. They never took the pressure. And as a result, it's forced the cheaters to actually go down there. Right? And sometimes revs tend, tend to miss that. You can clearly see that the Pumas never took uh, the pressure. Right, the withdrawing there, especially the, um, the tight head, clearly withdrew from that contest. But I'm glad that Jobodwana actually has gone reset instead of penalizing the cheaters there. Once again, we've got uh, Scrum. Yeah, solid Scrum there. Fantastic platform for the cheaters to exit. Clayton Plomichies looks for the up and under. Uh, well taken there from Matt Moore and a good offload in the tackle to Mafura. Yeah, Mafura very strong, elusive for his size, but holding on the ground. Once again, fantastic work there by the cheaters on the ground to enforce a turnover. Once again, just the Pumas players, just a bit too lethargic, a bit too slow to get to the breakdown. I think a lot of the players just you know looking to stand off and actually be ball um ball receivers rather than you know opting to go clean the ball up to ensure that the Pumas have got clean ball. But you see the Cheetahs, very good turnover there on the ground. Ruan Pinar lining up a kick just short of 50 meters. See if those old legs still have it. Now I must say Ruan Pinar has actually been very good since his return. I think at one stage he was even touted, you know, there were chats around South African rugby whether he should actually be included in the spring box setup or not but let's see how he goes how he fares with this kick 53 odd meters it'll be a very good effort ruan pinar steps up but unfortunately he pushes that just slightly to the left of the upright. But I must say that definitely had the distance, definitely had the legs, but unfortunately lacked the accuracy. She will be looking to get us off again. <clears throat> that knocks it down the field. Yeah, well filled it there by Clayton, sizes up, looks for an opportunity but equally well met on D there by the Pumas. Once again, wayward pass there from Brandon Thompson. Uh, Thompson. Looking to rectify that very quickly. And it's caused the Cheetahs to go about 10 meters back from where they initially were. Lolo today is in the loose. Elusive man. Love seeing a front row with a bit of feet. Oh, Clayton. Once again, unforced error. But fortunate there, Jabodwana has called it. Has actually given, called a knock on there and given uh, the cheaters an opportunity. Yeah, it seems like to be, have been knocked on in the tackle there. Clayton Plomichi is looking to let it go. All right, but uh, Metamafura there, a little hand, sneaky hand, causing the knock on. 
Yeah, definitely. Mafura knocking it on there in the tackle. Right, but once again, one could argue that Clayton could have hold, held on to that ball rather, you know, create another phase rather than trying to force it. But I suppose that's how he plays his game, always playing on the on the edge. Yeah, I see a bit of a break here. I seem like cheaters have got, got a man down. Yeah, you know, just ten minutes or so to go until half time. Yeah, you know, not too many, not too much to speak of from an attacking sense. Uh, in terms of points on the board, right? But I think we can all agree that it's been end to end stuff. Yes, a game riddled with a lot of mistakes, a lot of silly mistakes at that. Right. And at the moment we've got that the cheaters leading, yeah, uh, sorry, the pumas leading three no. Uh, seems to have been a bit of a stoppage. Just trying to get um, a couple of players, but it should be underway in no time. I'm sure both coaches would be highly, highly, highly annoyed at the most pulling at their hairs. Right, just a couple of minor things to, you know, to fix at half time. I think both teams just trying to force it a bit. Um, they could do with a couple of more phases before looking to mm -hmm. to go out wide. Yeah, oh, Tim, Tim, back on. Come on, surely. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Tim, Yeah, it seems like the AR there or something, but there must must have been something wrong. But yeah, we're back on. Cheetahs. Cheetahs, they are just uh, about 10 meters into their own half. But unfortunately, tight head losing his footing there. Jabodwana penalizing penalty to the Pumas. It'll be interesting to see what they do. Wouldn't be surprised if they go for the three points here. Yeah, indeed, Fashia has pointed to the poles. Now, for those watching, please, in the comment sections, again, I think the game is still equally balanced at the moment. So please do get in your predictions. Who do you think would win? Right by how much and which player are, do you think will walk away sort of the man of the match display? I think at the moment, everyone has sort of been on par. No one really sticking up their hand, right? But that tends to be what happens in a game that's riddled with a lot of mistakes. But got for Shia, yeah, lining up. Lining up three points. Trying to stretch the lead to six points. Fashia steps up, strikes it. Well, but unfortunately, just to the right of the uprights, Brendan Thompson, uh, Thompson quickly recycling that and knocking it away. Just for fun of it, go on, good, good afternoon. Good afternoon, mate. Thanks for joining. Um, thanks for joining me on Forever Sports. Now, uh, but unfortunately, there. Pumas with an opportunity to stretch the lead, but unfortunately couldn't make it count. Once again, they just find themselves inside their own half. Oh, fantastic uh, contesting there from the Cheetahs line of time. Oof, massive carry there, getting over the advantage line. Cheetahs will maybe be looking to make this count now. Uh, Masuku with a very good territorial kick there. Uh, plenty of pressures on the Pumas. A fantastic territorial gain there by the Pumas. Uh, Brandon Thompson will be looking to just polish up his pass a bit. I think 
he's not just thing asking where is steve yeah steve is just uh on you i'm just keeping you company for today yeah it's a pity that also we've had a couple of cancellations this week right but i'm sure steve will be jumping on the sharks versus british and irish lions game that's quite interesting to to also see that the pumas were in line to possibly get you know rumors flying around that the pumas could possibly be face the British and Irish Lions. I don't know how that would have turned out, but I think it would have been a massive opportunity for the union, the backdrop of the Bulls game, you know, um, being cancelled. And I think sort of the Pumas, they're sort of a team that, you know, they like to go up against the everywhere. You know, they've been, they've been counted out plenty of times, but I think, you know, they've, they've been able to, to punch above their weight. And I think Jimmy Stonehouse has done a very good job you know, in terms of managing and coaching these guys, being able to extract every single bit of potential that they have. Right, and a fantastic work there from Pumas once again, and unfortunately the Cheetahs conceding pin, uh, position once again deep in the Pumas half. Right, and the Pumas will be looking to, to knock this one out. You know, just relieve some pressure. So now the Pumas can clearly uh, make an exit here. Yeah. Very solid, solid scrum there from the Cheetahs. Ooh. Pumas there, fortunate for Jobodwana, the ref Jobodwana to call it, you know, to call it um, a reset scrum. Let's quickly go to the comments. One asking, when's the rematch between the Sharks and the British Lions? I stand to be corrected, but I think it is tomorrow. And I think I read that it might be at a half four, but I stand to be corrected in terms of the kickoff time. But I certainly do know that it will be played tomorrow. Now, five minutes to play a uh, reset scrum. Right, it's really been a rather, um, you know, error-ridden game. Hopefully the teams will, you know, get into the changing room, come back rejuvenated and a bit more clinical. We want to see tries. These two teams playing an enterprising, you know, an enterprising game. <clears throat> but yeah, they just seem, they just seem to have not been able to get going at all this game. Okay, are there, Steve? Thanks. Um, tomorrow night, at six o'clock South African time. Thanks, there, Steve. Your fierce contest day, scrum time. Bushwick Pima's shanked it there. Smiles shanked it off the side of the boot. Cheetahs with yet another opportunity. Let's take, see if they can make this count. Up in our places pod. Good clean out. Good quick ball. Uh, Masuko. Yeah, perhaps trying to do a bit too much there. Once again, it would have been better off to just, you know, keep the ball in hand, recycle that ball. Uh, unfortunately, they're knocking it on in contact. Yet another game. Well, it's a straight. I'm sure it's frustrating for both coaches. As we see that the Cheetahs have had four handling error, errors and the Pumas six handling errors. But on top of that, I think also we've just seen in terms of just generally the amount of times the ball has been stolen on the ground because of a lack of a cleaner. You know, it's been quite a... Um, stop start game as well now as you see sort of like the fourth scrum in the space of about five minutes but pumas yet again with an opportunity to exit center ball I'm sure the angle will be favorable for fashia to get some distance on this kick 
Uh, for Shea knocks it down, but unfortunately not out. Clinton Blomikis looks to play. Duncan Sal on the ball. Yeah, beats the first man. Make a couple of meters. Uh, good carry there from the Cheetahs, number seven. I think he's been quite immense so far in the game. Jacques Burkita, you know, he is historically a very good carry. I see Amasoku there with uh, fancy feet. Had infringement there on the ground by the Pumas. Seems like Matt Moore is the one who's been nailed there. Yeah, Rowan Pinar will be looking to reduce, um, to draw this game all equal as he lines up this kick. And I would expect him to be able to knock this one over. There, as we look at the replays here, Masuku with a very good step there initially. Yeah, Matt Moore, perhaps, although he wasn't the one at fault. He was there, but unfortunately, the supporting player lying all over that ball. Ron Pinar steps up to take this kick. Bruno Pinar, I expect him to easily knock this one over, you know, and draw this game level with just a minute to play. Yeah, AR flags up. And we are all square. Oh, all square. Three all at the moment. Right, I'll be, I'll be honest. I, I didn't expect it to be three all going into half time. I'd expect it certainly a couple more try. Um, well, at least a couple of tries. Right, but let's open the second half there. They um, David takes that one up. They diplomacies. A massive boot there from Clayton Blomacies taking the play deep into Puma's territory. Just for fun, Guan. Thanks, but uh, I'll consider it out there. But I think Steve has got a good thing going on here. Maybe I'll just keep on hopping, hopping on now and then. All right, but thanks for that. Your Pumas look to attack here. Still trying to be positive. Unfortunately, blocking off there. And Pumas will get one, perhaps one more opportunity, you know, knock this into the corner. Look to set up a drive and see if you can't milk a couple of, um, you know, a couple of points going into into the halftime. Yeah, I actually just put, uh, he's opted to go for polls, you know, looking to maybe get the three points and head into the shed with a three-point lead. Yeah, clearly blocking off there from Davies. Yeah, clearly, clearly turned his back there. Should have just kept uh, kept running. All right, Fushia looking to knock this one over. And yeah, while we head into your halftime break, please do join me after the halftime break. I just quickly go grab, you know, beverage of choice, and we'll meet again shortly. Let's see if Fushia can ensure that the boys go into the shed with a three point with a three point lead. She steps up, good distance, and the flags are up. And indeed, the Pumas go into the lead into half time. My bad, into half time with a three point lead. So at half time, the score is zero is, is equal to three cheaters, Pumas six. Join, uh, please do join me shortly after the halftime break.
Yeah, welcome back to Forever Sports with Uluka and your Chongweni. Yeah, a rather frustrating first half there from the Cheetahs and the Pumas. Right with halftime scores, three Cheetahs, Puma six. And no, you're not mistaken, that is honestly the score at this stage, right? I wouldn't have anticipated that at the top of the show, at the start of the show. Right, because I think here yeah, we've got two fantastic teams, two teams that love to keep ball in hand, two teams, you know, that are very enterprising, you know, love the running game, you know, and often, you know, score quite a few points. But yeah, today they've been rather stra uh, scrappy. I think, yeah, just a bit too many unforced errors, right? Just a bit of a lack of sort of, you know, attention to detail. We can even see with the back line, especially from the cheetah side, they're trying to run the ball, but the passes are just aren't clean. You know, too many passes going behind. And you know, I've even seen a missed opportunity by um uh Cohen Jasper, right? A pass that Clayton Blomich is beautiful line, breaking through, right? But unfortunately not able to connect effectively with the man out wide. With the, with the try beckoning, right? So it's been that sort of game, you know, stop, start, you know, because I think both teams, right, Ford's managers will be sitting there wondering what more can we do? Because I think come set piece time, right, I haven't seen too many turnovers at set piece time. So meaning that both sides are getting their ball, they're getting clean ball, right? But it's just that the backline players aren't just able to, to make it count, you know, too static at times, you know, but... Also, I think just when it comes to that finer detail, all right, it's just a bit scrappy there on the floor, right? The breakdown hasn't been well looked after uh, up until this point. You know, too many guys being isolated, giving opportunities to the opposition to get their ball, uh, their hands in to slow down the ball. I mean, the Pumas, you know, found, have found themselves quite a numerous a numerous times in the um, in the sort of five meter area of the cheetahs, but weren't able to put them away, especially in the first sort of 20 minutes where they definitely looked like they were the better team, right? So it'll be interesting to see what message both coaches try to communicate to the guys, right? And what changes we see um, sort of post half time, because I think, yeah, it's just that bit of patience and just, you know, focusing on the detail. You know, just the basic skills, passing and ensuring that your pass sticks, but also running onto the ball, you know, securing your ball at the breakdown. So it's just, you know, those little intricacies, those little finer details to our game that, you know, most people, you know, watching at home don't necessarily pay attention unless it's going wrong, right? All you want to see is that running rugby, go forward ball, front foot ball, right? But in order to do that, you know, it's important for us to ensure that we get the basics right, to make ensure that the passing is on point, is clean in front of the player, to make sure that the player is running on. But, yeah, we'll see what sort of teams we get in the second half. I am expecting a better, you know, second half. All right, and hopefully we can see a couple more tries. But yeah, we're not too far away from kickoff of the second half. So, oh, please do quickly, just quickly go get, grab that beverage of your choice, you know, uh, and join me for the second half. You're not too far away from the action. But yeah, it'll also be interesting to see what the point of difference is. I think I like I love the look of the cheetahs. We're not too far away now. Both sides are out in the park, right? Clayton Blomich is on centre, looking to get us in the way. I'm, I'm I'm a bit more, you know, I'm positive. I'm positive that this game can work out. You know, they can, you know, find find a way, find a way. And I think the cheetahs have got a fantastic, um, they've got a fantastic bench. You know, Chino Pogomela, I see Michelle Mosi. You know, very good ball carriers, elusive runners. You know, so it's going to be interesting to see. What happens? Job. Viewers, yeah, we'll be looking to to knock it out. No pressure down for Shia. Right. Yeah, it seems like the ref. No, no advantage there. Cheetah's a bit too eager to get out of the blocks. Yeah, they are pubers. 
Definitely cheat is not the start they were looking for their unforced error penalty guys a bit too eager coming out the shed right but yeah Pumas benefiting from that a penalty and for is able to get good distance on that now cheaters sort of half um you know halfway in between the 22 and the 10 meter area let's see what they'll be looking to do here i'll expect them to win this i think set piece have been quite clinical set up the more they have been able to get front foot ball right very big pack very heavy but more importantly, very good, good experience there. A group of players who've played a lot of rugby together. So they know just how each one functions. Breakaway there from Vestrat. Cheetahs creating slow ball there for Shia. Let it go, mate. Yeah, well met there on D. Good line speed. Uh, taken up there by Brandon. Oh, Matt Moore, good feet. Sitting up again, just able to just beat the first uh, defender. Oshiano on the ball, looking to trigger something. Yeah, again, good uh, carry there from Brandon. Momentarily isolated, but Puma's able to clear him out. Yeah, good carry there from Akondwana, getting over the advantage line. Ah, Puma's again, just disjointed. For Shia going for the little dink over the top. How could this possibly work out for them? I see Amasuka doing well there to, to clean up shop for the cheaters. But yeah, once again, Puma is just looking to have run out of ideas in the 22. All right, when you're there, you need your 10 to take charge. You know, you need your 10 to be conducting the troops. And I think we sort of saw this last week as well against the Grecos of the Pumas. I don't know, the past sort of two weekends, they just seem to be running out of ideas all of a sudden when they get in the 22. Right, and that forced uh, for Shia to sort of try to create something out of nothing with a little dink, but she just did well to to clean that up, and they were able to get out of the 22, relieve some pressure. But play still in the Cheetahs 22, Puma's ball. Yeah, I'm sure Jimmy is pulling out his hair. His, his troops are just not firing at the moment. Let's throw it goes to the back of the line out, line out over. Oh, very good mall there from the Pumas. Yeah, I think the Pumas number six there. Franchise has had a massive game up until this point. Definitely one of the standout players. A very good carry there from Diavalt. Getting Pumas off for sheer bad. Come on, surely not. Right, but fortunately for them, knocking that backwards, so Puma's ball. Yeah, good carry there from Vestrat, a man who hardly ever goes backward. Uh, once again, once again, an unforced error there by the Pumas. Oh, Jimmy must be livid. Right, yeah, once again, Matt Moore, unfortunately, pass going behind him. Again, it's those simple basics, you know. It's, it's just Jensen not being clinical at the moment. Uh, we see that the Cheetahs, got a Cheetahs player down there. It seems like it's a head injury. Good carry, but once again, an unforced offload there by the number 13, Arach Right, leading to a knock-on there from Matt Moore. Once again, it's just those percentages, just the guys not being clinical, you know, the pass being a bit wayward, trying to force this, uh, the situation. Because one could argue there, Eric Kronje would have been better off, you know, trying to set that one up, right? Just create another phase, you know, just buy your time, earn the right, earn the right to play that enterprising rugby. You know, it's just, yeah, it's been a game riddled with just too many you know, unforced errors, whether it be the silly pass or whether it be a knock-on or a misplaced pass, right? Yeah, it's not just, I won't be, I'll be honest, it hasn't been a good spectacle, but let's do hope that the 30, no, 35 minutes that are left will be able to see good rugby because we know both of these sides have got it within their DNA 
to play enterprising rugby. It's just that, yeah, both teams just seem to not have it going. Oh, seems to be a nasty knock there on the cheaters. Number five, Jan Droster, but a hard man is up. I'll be surprised if he doesn't go at least for an HR. Because, yeah, he does somewhat look a bit dazed. Yeah, could that be a bit of foul play? Ooh, leading with the arm there. We could see a Francois Clenaines, you know, one of the one of the better players of today. You know, spend 10 minutes or a minimum, or we can actually just see him. Hopefully it's not a red card, you know. Those just tend to kill a contest, but yeah, no room for foul play in our game. Oh, actually, it's Willy Engelberg. Sorry for that. The leading with the shoulder there. Oh, I think it'll be a harsh to give him a red card for that. Definitely strike the opposition player on the head. Right, but I think the initial contact was with the shoulder when it was tucked in, but it did extend that arm. But hopefully he's able to get away here with a yellow card. Oh, we don't want to see that. Definitely, but though clearly leaning with the arm. Ah, uh, Vili, with all your experience, bad. Yeah, I think the initial contact was with the shoulder when it was tucked in. You know, but he has then gone further. Let's hear what Chobotwana has to say. Yeah, I could be in trouble, yeah. Yeah, while we wait, maybe those who have joined us, what are your thoughts on the sort of the Springbok, um, you know, British Irish Lions series? Do you think the box are somewhat underprepared? All right, I uh, have only played just the one test match. Yo, what's 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 your take? Do you do you think the box are adequately prepared for the upcoming British and Irish Lions series? Uh, good afternoon, then Nathan Israel. Are you asking Fiji sevens or fifteens? Are you asking which team I prefer? Right, but I think, yeah, just generally as a team, the Fiji Sevens have definitely, you know, been able to sort of uh, put a marker in the Seven Series. You know, they've been consistently one of the better teams. So I would have to opt for the Fiji Sevens. If, and, you know, especially now going to the Olympics, they've got, they've got, you know, Rodradra. He's, oh, it's a pity that we won't be able to see him uh, tomorrow against the All Blacks. Right, I would have loved to see how he fares out against Rico Ioni. In the middle of the park, all right. But I think, yeah, we're gonna see a very special player come the Olympics. Uh, Joe Adwana there summoning the player. Yeah, uh, Vili, Vili with the yellow card. Yeah, rather harsh there, my, some may say, you know, because the initial contact did happen in the contact, right? The player did go into, I don't know how much Vili knew about that. And perhaps because he extended the arm, it made it seem as though there was malice and it was intentionally done. But I think you'll be relieved that it is 10 minutes rather than, you know, a yellow card. But yeah, cheaters once again, you know, winning a penalty there. Ah, oh. scrappy, scrappy set piece line out time there. But Brandon Thompson doing very well to pounce on that, to clean it up. Right, still cheaters on the ball. Change of direction. Ah, uh, both teams just seem to not have you know the mojo. They just haven't seemed 
to find to have found the the rhythm in their play, where you stop start looking like they don't know what they are trying to do. Okay, Tim Bromwich is here on the ball, in out, tries to go through them, not here, bad. Thompson looking to turn for Shia there to cover up, covering very well. We are now Thompson. There, Brandon on the ball. Ops for the chip and chase, but all covered there by Mafura. Puma's now got the possession. Let's see if they can do anything with it. Good carry there, in midfield. See there, the left foot of Devon Williams. Lama say he hasn't been able to get into the game, which has been a pity because yeah, you know, the Pumas just seem to be able to play the best rugby when Devin Williams is, you know, in the mojo when he's actually conducting a lot of their play. But today they have just they just haven't been able to get him going. But yeah, you know, here again, it seems like to be a bit of a kicking contest, both sides trying to win the territorial game. A oh, fantastic kick there from Brandon Thompson. Taking play into the 22, but quickly taken there from Fushia. Yeah, there's called took, taken back, unfortunately, an unforced error there from Afura, but all because of a fantastic tornado torpedo kick there from Brandon Thompson. I haven't seen that for a while now. We've got that in the comment section. We've got just for fun of it. Can't say a real hot game, as I expected the Pumas to walk over the Cheetahs. Yeah, also, I won't lie, I thought it would be, you know, a more open game, right, with perhaps the Pumas pipping it up because I think they have generally just been playing a better brand of rugby. Uh, sorry, do you apologize there for just a little glitch? Our video should be up again. There we go. Do you apologize for that? But we see yet again another stoppage in the game. Sorry there. Sorry, they are just a bit of a technical glitch there, but back. Pumas definitely eyeing first on the log. Yeah, I think I think actually the Pumas and the Crick was, you know, they'd be they would have definitely, you know, thought that they can get sort of to the top, top four, top of the table, because you know, the other unions have had players leave, they had players um committed to the box structure and I think as a group, this group of players, the Pumas the Pumas and the Crickers players, you know, I spend a bit more time together. They understand the game um a bit better, right? And I think the Pumas have just got one of the best coaches in the in South Africa in our game, right at the moment. Uh in Jimmy Stonehouse, you know. So I definitely think they would they would have been eyeing that number one spot and slot. There, Devin Williams on the attack. Uh, unfortunately. Once again, a forward pass there when they looked for all money to be on the attack. But yeah, once again, that opportunity for the Pumas coming out, coming about as a result of the cheaters, you know, knocking the ball there, Brendan Thompson, just simply not good enough. Right, and yet again, one could argue that the cheaters got away with one there. As we have another look there, Clean knock on there. Oh, Brandon, come on, surely not. Right, but quickly the Pumas into attack mode. You know, sending the ball out wide. Oh, and unfortunately, Devin Williams overrunning that ball there on the wing. Jabodwana spotting the forward pass. 
And again, another stoppage, another frustrating stoppage. But yeah, I've got about 30, what, 30 minutes to go. Let's hope it's a better 30 minutes than the 50 you've seen up until this point. So yeah, let's just interact in the um, in the chat box. Do you think the box will be adequately prepared with the cancelled game against Georgia this weekend for the British and Irish Lions, especially considering that the Lions will be going into that game having played a handful of games? And I must say, they looked rather impressive against the Sharks. You know, very good intensity both on D and on attack, right? But one could argue that Jakob Paper was, you know. Not the best when it came to sort of the um, the offside lines there for that game, but I think the British and Irish lines certainly look sharp. But yeah, cheaters, yeah, much better passing. Let employment is taking it up into contact. Oh, Jock put Gita. Very good carry there. Hard man, hard, hard man. Oh, Clayton Blomich is looking for the chip. Keep the ball in hand, bud. But yeah, once again, the cheat is looking threatening for a second, but unfortunately, Pumas are able to force the turnover and alleviate some pressure, at least for the time being. So with 15 minutes up, you know, the game's still, you know, no one has scored any points since halftime. Game's still three cheaters, Pumas six, right with 30 minutes to go, and we see that cheaters make the first substitution. As we see, Fanaveste is in come on for Fanamarva. And we see there, Junior Pokomela, who I think is a fantastic young player, come on there for the teachers for Jacques Porchita, who I think with the limited of ball that he did get, right, was very strong in the carry, very good in contact. But, I mean, it is Jacques Porchita. That is what we tend, you know, we've come to know him for. And we see also the Pumas have made a change in, on the flank position, McLean Hayes going off. And we've got in jersey number 20. Got a replacement there in jersey number 20. Clayton Blomichi is Duncan Sal collect. Oh, fantastic, fantastic covering there from Uma Fur and a fantastic tackle there on Duncan Sal. Yeah, and for any aspiring young wingers watching, right, hopefully they saw that the importance of just tracking. You know, not sticking onto your wing. And there Mafura was to effectively stop a certain try there from Duncan Sal. But I think much better attacking there from the cheaters. A good pressure there on the line out. Uh, unfortunately, Alulu, Alulu in front of that ball penalty there. And again, the Pumas have it easy and easy exit. But yeah. She just looked good there. Clayton Bromwich is putting that, you know, a little grabber there through Duncan Saul, chasing that down very well. But unfortunately, with the line out, Cheetahs consider penalty, and yet again, Pumas get an easy out. She will be looking to get some fair distance on this kick, and Judy does. Let's look again, the line out. Ooh, perhaps to your oh, harsh there. Your oh, harsh penalty there against the cheaters. Right, it seemed like initially at least that Alulu too was indeed in line. But Chabudwana thought otherwise. Let's start looking to uh, be distant to the line out. Good initial set there from the cheaters. Oh, all taken in the air there from Duncan Saul. Bounces up back and he's able to gain a few yards for the cheaters. Clayton in the tent, Jersey. Brandon Thompson. Oh, but unfortunately, knocks it straight into touch. Oh, and yet another error. But I think that was as a result of good pressure there from the Pumas. Yeah, I didn't give him much time, much chance on the ball. Yeah, no, clean. There uh, shouldn't be nothing there. 
Absolutely nothing in that. See now, because of that unforced error there from Brandon, right? Puma's got an attacking opportunity. It's five meters outside the cheetahs. Five meter, uh, 22 meter area. Uh, fantastic work there on the ground by Alulu too. And he's able to get the turnover there on the ground. And once again, the Puma's just committing, you know, guys, the supporting, supporting guys, just taking a bit too long to get there. And Aluluto is able to get in there and force the turnover. And it's always, you know, it's always nice to see a front ranker doing more than uh, Clayton, Nardo, no ways. But come on. Yeah, it'll be frustrating for the cheaters, especially, you know, after doing so well, doing good work on the ground, forcing the turnover. For Clayton to not get straight down, you know, not finding touch. But yeah, the cheaters will have another opportunity on the halfway line. Nathan Israel says, what do you think? Over or under three and a half tries. Yeah, listen, I think where the game is at at the moment, I don't see too many tries, right? But I do hope that you are spoiled to at least one or two tries. Very good tries at that, right? But also these games do tend to open up a bit more sort of when you come towards the end. Right, so let's hope that we will see some attacking rugby here. It's been quite a stalemate at the moment, you know, very, you know, error-ridden game. Both sides not quite finding their, uh, again, misplaced pass, but a good pass there for Clayton Blomichis. Uh, Clayton Blomichis looking to get, but well cleaned up there by Mafura. Nuclear, very good kick there, no to space. Brandon Thompson, Clayton on the ball again. Goose, oh, well done. Good connecting there with Brandon William Thompson. Brandon Thompson down the field. Oh, links well there with Ruan Pinar. He surely should get over here. Oh, those old legs. A fantastic, fantastic support line there from Ruan Pinar, utilizing all his experience to ensure he's there to run over and jot down the try. But once again, very good attacking ball there by Clayton, good attacking, attacking the space, very good offload uh, to, to Brandon, and Brandon doing very well to be able to connect and see the support of Oruan Pinar. And that for the first time in the game, we see the Cheetahs take the lead, and I'm sure, yeah, Ruan will be looking to, to convert his own try and make the score 10-6 to the Cheetahs. It seems like they're looking for looking at the pass once again. Yeah, I know that's legal. Thanks for coming. Five points for the cheaters. Thanks for coming. And yeah, everyone should be able to knock over the two points here with ease. Turn his five points into seven. Aruan Pinar taking a, quite a few deep breaths there, I think. Yeah, having run just, you know, almost 50 meters, sprinted 50 meters to get in a position where he can support Brandon. Yeah, he's able to knock that one over. And for the first time in the game, the Cheetahs take the lead 10-6 and all because of that man, Clayton Blomichis. And it's fantastic to see him come slowly but surely come into the game and trying to influence things. You know, very good. Run the very good offload. Brandon doing well to link up with the run Pinar. And the man is able to, you know, stride away for the try. She gets us in the way. She says, yeah, we'll be looking to exit quite economically. Clayton Bromwich is again with the big kick downfield. Uh, but unfortunately, and once again, indiscipline from the kick course. And I think 
Yeah, this is this has been a trend that I've been seeing from a couple of the South African teams. I think, you know, lack of patience, right? A lot of them just, you know, conceding easy possession straight after, you know, straight after um, scoring out of the kickoff, right? Which is disappointing to see because the one thing once you score, what you want to do is to ensure that, you know, you are able to to retain your ball and you're able to exit um, effectively. Right, but now they've just handed uh, Pumas with the opportunity to chip away at the lead. Right, with Fashia with the shot, he had goal for three points. And hasn't been bad in this game. Two, two kicks out of three. Right, so I would expect him to knock this one over. It's fairly straight. Right, shouldn't pose him too many issues. Yeah. Hey, I'll raise the flags. And yeah, barely two minutes up. The Pumas are able to chip away at the Cheetahs' lead. And we've got the score 10 Cheetahs, 9 Pumas. Got Rudy Meyerberg. Afternoon, bud. Uh, thanks for joining. He says, go Cheetahs. Yeah, let's see if Cheetahs can pull this one off. But yeah, I think let's see if the Pumas yeah, can be clinical at kickoff time. Very good kick chase there, but equally well met by Willy Engelbrecht. Oh, Chabotwana saying, roll away, mate. And once again, the cheetahs just giving away an easy penalty there. Just an indiscipline starting to creep in slowly. Right, and that doesn't assist at all when you've just, you know, taken the lead. Right, they've just given the Pumas two easy possessions. Yeah, an easy three-point shot and also equally an easy way out of the territory. So, yeah, we'll just need to tighten up a bit. I know the Bagas are eager to play. But, yeah, discipline, discipline is pivotal. Unfortunately, the Puma is not able to win their own ball. Cheetah's looking to spread that out wide quickly. Once again, they're a bit, a bit messy there in the, on the breakdown, but the Cheetah's looking full flow now. Uh, Siyama Suko on the attack. Now uh, Cheetah's looking to up the tempo a bit here. Let him promise he is fantastic pass, Rudolph. Oh, fantastic link up there from Duncan Sal. Oh, fantastic try there from the Cheetahs. I think that's what a lot of us would have been expecting right at the start of the show, right? Enterprising rugby, fantastic link up. Clayton Bromwich is with a good uh, cutout pass there to uh, Jean, uh, to Rudolph. Rudolph doing very well, taking the ball up and offloading to Duncan Sal and Duncan Sal linking up. Very well there with his outside um, center, Leslie Porter. Yeah, good try there from the Cheetahs. Good flowing rugby. And for the first time, you know, Chris passing clinical, right? And it definitely has resulted in them scoring a fantastic try. Yeah, Ruan Pinar shouldn't have too many issues converting this. Yeah, he has the two points. And... The Cheetahs stretch out their lead once again. The score is 17-9. Now, 17-9 to the Cheetahs. Yeah, very good score there from Leslie. Good support play. Oh, cheetahs seem to be a the merger. And I think, again, Clayton Blomich is, you know, coming into it, affecting uh, play. And it's fantastic to see Rudy Meyerberg. Thank you for the channel. Thanks for joining us, bud. I go Cheetahs. They are certainly Cheetahs looking like they've got the upper hand in this game. And you expect that the longer it drags on, you know, with the experience that the Cheetahs have and just, you know, the quality that they have, they might just be able to, 
to close this one off. But also it's fantastic to see that they were able to kick receive wall, then exit wall in their half. Now it's all for the Pumas to do deeper in their half. Now I've got about um, 16 minutes left to play. Right, and the Pumas will be looking We'll be looking to chip away at the deficit, you know, possibly pull out a win right at the death. Very good line out there from the Pumas. Strong line out drive. And I think they've been quite strong throughout the whole game in that particular area. Clearly showing a very good dominance in that area over the Cheetahs. Right, but unfortunately, they haven't been able to make it count. Now tackle. Now Puma's doing well there to keep the ball. Good line speed there from Junior Pocomela. See what, what, the, what the Pumas can do. Yeah, Junior has been good since coming on, adding a lot of energy on D. Bushian uh, sees a bit of space behind. But Cohen is there to clean up. Oh, Clayton with the feet. Cohen Yaspa. Tackler roll away. Ooh. One could argue there the Puma is rather fortunate because it also looked for all money that the player didn't roll away. But once again, yeah, Clayton maybe playing, you know, looking to play in the wrong areas. You know, putting Cohen Yasper underneath under a lot of pressure. And now the Pumas once again are handed an opportunity to chip away at the lead. Yeah, Pumas looking to be positive now, going for the corner to set up the drive. Uh, afternoon there, Grant Swartz. Um, what have I missed? Not much, but I think it's been quite a slow game. I've been lethargic, so sort of in the last 10 minutes that we've seen. Some enterprising rugby cheaters looking to you know to to assert their dominance, you know, with their back line, you know, looking very good, swinging the ball from side to side, right? But yeah, in the first half, man, you didn't miss much, you know, it's been quite a scrappy game, generally speaking, you know, too many unforced errors, you know, both sides looking to to force the last pass, you know, not biding the time and actually going through the phases, right. But yeah, we see here Jabodwana awarding the penalty try. And yeah, I think the Pumas, the Pumas have definitely been dominant sort of in that in that area, in that um in that front in the front row. So once again, the Pumas not behind for too long. And they are able to chip away once again. And the difference between the side is one point and now i see that conrad has just gotten been sent to the sun bin. so definitely the pumas will have their tails up right because they've been dominant in the forward pack i think they've just had a bigger forward more physical but i think it goes back to the fact that they've actually played quite a bit of rugby together as a union so they know each other pretty well as a pack yeah they've been able to get ascendancy in that area of the game throughout the game. So yeah, Cheetahs will play pretty much majority of the last bit of this game with 12 minutes so to go, right, with just nine men. So it'll be interesting, you're sorry, with 40 men, as Conrad has just been sent to the sin bin by uh, Jabodwana for collapsing the mall. Humans looking to hit it up a couple of phases. Surely now we should let it go. Yeah, get it out of there. Yeah, a decent enough kick there from Fashia. So yeah, Grant, just to come back to you. Yeah, no, not too many highlights, but especially in that first half, you know, um, also just a bit scrappy at breakdown time. You know, a couple of guys not actually, you know, blowing over both sides. You know, too many guys standing off. Right, I think anticipating the ball rather than ensuring that both sides are securing that ball. But yeah, we do hope that with 10 minutes to go, right, you see there, 
hopefully 10 minutes to go, we'll see more attacking rugby. You see that Demaza are coming on. Very elusive ball carrier there for the Pumas. And I think a very good shift there from the Pumas, number four, Brandon from Alden. He's been also quite good in the carry and the loose. The cheetahs there able to get a bit of uh, ascendancy at the mall, winning a penalty, and over one Pinar will be looking to knock this one over for an additional three points. Okay, we've got Ruan Pinar, yeah, the old head. Looking to stretch the Cheetahs lead once again. Oh, I should expect him to knock that one over. Uh, unfortunately not. Right, and it's still all even. Oh, sorry, it was still 17-16 with 10 minutes to go. We've got Grant there saying after the Pumas last two games, I thought they would beat the Cheetahs easily. Yeah, certainly. I think um, also we've had a couple of uh, people say in the comment section that they they thought the Pumas will, uh, would walk away with a victory. Yeah. But clearly not. But I think, yeah, the Pumas have just been a bit scrappy and I think Jimmy won't be too pleased. They've just seemed a bit, you know, disjointed, run out of ideas in key critical areas. And I think it was the same thing with the Crickers. As soon as they got into the opposition 22, they just seemed to be running out of ideas. Very well drilled, a very good team in terms of the build-up up until the 22. It's a team that clearly knows what they're trying to do, where they're trying to play. Right, but it's just that now in that, you know, 22, when you just have to put the killer, you know, the killer punch, it just seemed to be somewhat wayward and inaccurate. And once again, for sure, with a fantastic opportunity to put the Pumas deep inside the, inside the half of the Cheetahs, but unfortunately, his wayward kick there from him. Grant says the Pumas should have replaced the Bulls game against the British and Irish Lions. Yeah, I think there was an opportunity for that. And I think uh, for the Union, it would have been massive. But I think there was equal an opportunity perhaps to, to have a combined side, you know, um, of the guys who could have easily cancelled today's fixture, for example, get an invitational side, right? So where the Pumas maybe lack you know, bolster that and take on the British and Irish Lions. But yeah, I think it would have been a fantastic opportunity for the Pumas players if they actually got that opportunity. But that's was going to be interesting to see if the Sharks are able, you know, to to bring in, a, you know, bring a bit more, you know, a bit more clinical, I think. I think that's one thing that they lacked against the British and Irish Lions. They were able to get into good areas, but unfortunately they were not able to make it count. Silly mistakes at critical times. But yeah, Back to the game. Oh, fantastic hit there by the Cheetahs player and the Pumas player. Right, but Pumas still with position. Looking to attack here. Yeah. Agondwan again. Pretty clearly well met. Yeah, Pumas looking to run it now. Yeah, Puma's looking to run from there. Oh, once again, an error there from Devin Williams. Yeah, I should have taken that one. Should have taken that one. Yeah, unfortunately, there an error by by the Pumas. Scott Ferreira there looking to oh, Malcolm Ja. It's been a while since we've seen him on the pitch. It's good to see him back on. 
right? Very loose player, very quick feet. Let's see what he can bring to this game. Yeah, and I think a decent shift there from Duncan Saul. Limited opportunities with ball in hand. But I think with the bit that he had, he showed what he is capable of. But let's see what Malcolm Jaw has to offer. Rudy Mayberg, Rusty Boys, COVID-19. Yeah, it's been the streak to have walked in the cheaters uh, in the cheaters camp. Yeah, and I think just with the uncertainty around COVID, you know, the stop start nature of it as well hasn't helped the union as a whole. But I think they would have done well to come away yeah, with the victory because I think. Yeah, I would have also favoured the Puma side, just like Grant, I would have favoured the Puma side to perhaps walk away with a victory. Yeah. Our cheaters clean there at the line out time. Oh, Cohen, very good pass there from Pinar. Cohen Yaspa attacking. Yeah, and forcing a knock on there. Quite good enterprise play there from the cheaters. Definitely would have not seen that pass. You know, it was sort of a blind pass there from Ruan Pinar. You know, the, um, Cohen Yaspa sweeping around quickly. I think a, a pretty a pretty good move, right? And it's 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 allowed the cheaters to get deep down inside the Pumas territory, force the error, right? And now they've got a fantastic opportunity. You know, to attack and possibly, you know, put this game out of the Puma's reach. So, yeah, with just six minutes to go, scores just a one point difference. You've got the Cheetahs 17 and the Pumas on 16. Uh, Cheetahs, yeah, with a fantastic opportunity. With the le uh, left hand side scrum for them, right? We've got the whole field to play with. We're looking to definitely put this out of the Puma's reach. Good carry there from Masoko. Uh, equally fantastic work there on the ground from the Pumas, forcing a turnover. It's a pathetic clean, if I, if I may say so. You know, the cheaters should have done well, uh, should have done better there. It's first for his ball. They know exactly. Ah, uh, for Shia, again, that's two in a row now where he's had an opportunity to knock it out for a line out, but has missed touch. Yeah, and definitely that hasn't helped the Pumas. Two times it could have been in a good attacking position, but yeah, for Shia, missing touch. A good kick, yeah. Ron Pinar sweeping well, but also he's not he's not able to kick it out. Devin Williams, a oh, fantastic kick there from Devin Williams. Will it stay in field? Oh, fantastic, massive gain there from the Pumas. Oh, AR, no ways. Oh, cheaters get let off the hook there. With what I think may be an incorrect call from the assistant ref. Look for all manias though. Williams have done well to get there, kick the ball up against Brandon Thompson. Yeah, certainly that should have been Puma's ball. Oof. Yeah, Pumas will feel hard done by the and roughly so I think, yeah, they, they, it shouldn't have been their ball. Line out, five meters out. Right, it's a whole different picture. Pumas, yeah. Unfortunately, it seems like a bit of a knock on there at line out time. <laughs> yeah.
Yeah, once again, an unforced error there by the Pumas. It's crunch time. You know, one could argue that that was maybe the last opportunity that the Pumas had. But, yeah, Cheetahs would be looking to close it off here. Just over two minutes to go. But in the comment section, Nathan is your asking three tries total to the family. Yeah, so at the moment, it's been three tries that have been scored, two for the Cheetahs and one for the Pumas. Interesting call there from the Cheetahs. And that short arm opting for, for a scrum, I think looking to, you know, to use up a bit more time here. Good game management from Ruan Pinar. We've got Rudy, what do you think of Juan Fanamaro's performance? No, I think it was a good performance, but I think we also need to look at it, you know, in, in perspective, right? You know, Duan had a very good game, but he was up against a team and playing for a team rather that, you know, had the go-forward ball that was on the front foot, right? And, and as a result, I think his job was made somewhat easier, right? Not to take anything away from his performance because I think it was fantastic and, yeah, just can't wait to see him go up against you know, the Springboks, either Cheson Colby or Makazola Mapimpi. It's going to be fantastic. It's going to be fantastic to see. Yeah, a massive gain there from the Cheetahs. Right, I'm sure they'll be looking to knock this one deep into Puma's half. Spend a bit of time, um, take a bit of time out of the game, take the sting. Right, and walk away here yeah, with one point, with a one point victory. I think the Pumas will be definitely kicking themselves, right? I think, if I'm being honest, they have been the better, the better side in the majority of the game, right? It's just that they haven't been able to make the possession count when they have had the opportunities. But we also saw that the Cheetahs grew into the game quite well. Let's see if they can get a clinical line out here. Good line out. Good drive set. But yeah, I think the British and Irish Lions is going to be massive. I think I'm 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 chomping at the bit. It's about time. It's it's about time. Yeah, cheaters there looking to you know to close off the game. Just working it there with their forwards. I expect nothing different here. Just, you know, run down the clock. So I think, oh, knock on there on the ground. Or oh, perhaps the Pumas have got just one more opportunity here, but they'll have to do it from within their own half. Ah. Oh. We just said, yeah, I think we're going to really have to play clinical. Yeah, I think I think we've seen we've seen we've seen quite a good um, game plan from the British and Irish Lions, but I think also equally they're not going to get as much space against the box. I think just the intensity, and I think the interesting thing that we've seen with the British and Irish Lions is just the the difference in you know the difference between international rugby and also sort of the provincial rugby. Right? There is that difference just in terms of the intensity, you know, the British and Irish Lions were able to always dominate the advantage line. And I think, yeah, against the box, which is arguably one of the, be the best, actually, the best defensive units, it's going to be very tough for them to get that space to be able to do as they please. But, yeah, you see uh, final seconds, final plays. Bobby Skippers, they're very excited for the Cheetahs. Sure, Cheetah supporter there. But yeah, I think it's it's been an interesting game. Well deserved victory for the Cheetahs. Well, that is up to everyone. But yeah, I think Jimmy Stonehouse will be livid for that. And I think I think, yeah, just generally speaking, you know, the experience came through there for the cheaters and they were able to walk away 
with the victory. So a final score there, we've got Cheetahs 17, Pumas 16. Right, and I'm sure the Cheetahs, just looking at their management, they are very stoked about that victory. Rudy, thank you for joining. Right, this channel is nothing without you guys. You know, it's, it's you guys are the ones who keep it alive. So please do join me tomorrow for the All Blacks game, All Blacks versus Fiji. Right, excited to see that, excited to watch that. But yeah, if you haven't, if you've joined us for the first time and you haven't subscribed, please like and subscribe to the page. A lot of rugby in the next sort of month or so, right, with the massive build up to the British and Irish Lions series. But yeah, once again, Cheetahs 17, Pumas 16. But yeah, from Forever Sports, from me, Lucano, Ebulela, thank you.